Alright, so let's talk about Dot and the Kangaroo. So, this is an Australian movie. It is based on a book uh, by Ethel Pedley. Um, so the story is about um, a young girl named Dot who, you know, she kind of asks her parents permission to go out exploring the Australian bush, and yeah, I guess they reluctantly let her, but uh, yeah, unfortunately she gets lost, so yeah, I'm sure the parents feel pretty bad after that. Um, so yeah, she goes out exploring, gets lost, um, and, uh, and yeah, she's uh, crying next to a tree when a uh, kangaroo happens across her and, uh, you know, uh, yeah, she, uh, yeah, the kangaroo starts to talk, and it might be partially because she, like, fed her some root or something, because, um, because she says it's, like, the root of understanding, but, I don't know, she started hearing the kangaroo talk before, um, before she whatever anyway um yeah the kangaroo lost her baby the uh joey as they call it and uh and yeah she's been looking everywhere for him but uh it, it does seem to be implied that the joey was um killed by hunters but um we don't know that for sure well the thing is um okay so i will bring up this movie has eight sequels and I'll probably be reviewing all of them so yeah it looks like uh, yeah it's gonna be uh, there's gonna be a lot of dot in the uh, near future I guess um, but anyway um, so yeah we, we don't know if we might find something find out something new and one of the sequels or something, but uh, for now, you know, it's kind of easy to assume that Joey's dead, you know. Um, but yeah, regardless, um, the kangaroo decides to take Dot with her, and you know, while they're also looking for Joey, their main goal is to, uh, you know, find Dot's way back home, because, uh, yeah. And meanwhile, her father goes out looking for her, along with, um, I'm not sure if it's like her grandfather or uncle or just a friend of the dad's, but either way, um, yeah, they go out looking for her. Um, but, uh, yeah, they, they search for days, and then the father starts getting sick, so yeah, they have to go back home. Um... And, yeah, so, uh, Dot and the kangaroo are talking to a bunch of animals to, uh, you know, look for help to get back home. Soon they, uh, or, yeah, they, uh, you know, they get some help from, like, a platypus and a, uh, a wagtail, is that the name of the, um, or is it a magpie, whatever it was, um, yeah, so, anyway, so, uh, so yeah, she finds her way home, and then the kangaroo, uh, has to go back out into the wild, despite, uh, Dot, you know, wanting her to stay, and, yeah, um, so yeah, there's, uh, it, and there's a little bit of, uh, educational stuff in here, like, um, you know, you learn quite a bit about, uh, the wildlife, um, and, you know, uh, it, a lot of it is, like, cutesy, cartoony stuff, but, um, you know, they make cutesy characters out of the animals, um, and, like, they all have songs, there's, like, a song every couple minutes, like, every animal they meet has to have a song, maybe barring one or two, but, uh, <coughs> so yeah they yeah um, and uh, 
let's see. Well, one of the songs is about a creature called the Bunyip. It's uh, apparently a some kind of mythical uh, Australian creature, and uh, you know it like lives in the water or something. And uh, you know uh, the song uses um, this. Uh, or yeah, this uh, animation with like, um, well, it's got like this kind of unique animation style with like these ghostly looking uh, cave drawings come to life. And uh, yeah, the bunyip itself looks pretty creepy and the song is creepy and the lyrics are creepy. Um, so yeah, I can, yeah, I can definitely see uh, some kids getting freaked out by this sequence. Um, so yeah, um, oh, I, I did forget to mention, um, so this movie is, uh, 2D animated, but, um, well, the characters are 2D animated, but they use, uh, live action, you know, the, the, uh, background is live action, so it's, um, uh, it's kind of like what they did with, uh, that movie Dinosaur, as well as, um, the recent uh, Lion King remake. So yeah, I kind of consider in the same vein as those, only with 2D animation instead of CGI, because this was before CGI really uh, started to work, even though they tried it with Tubby the Tuba. Um, but uh, yeah. So yeah, it's interesting to watch. Um, much of the time you do kind of forget that the background is live action but yeah it's um it's pretty cool how they mix the two together you know um let's see uh and um aside from kids getting freaked out by the bunyip bunyip song they're also going to get very sad by this movie because um pretty much both the beginning and the end are sad and they have uh, Dot crying because the movie yeah the movie literally begins with Dot crying and it ends with her crying because um, you know at the beginning she's it shows uh, this uh, or it plays a somber little uh, ballad and then you see her um, you know sitting against a tree crying and then it flashes back to how she got lost in the first place but yeah at the, first you see yeah uh, it starts with her crying in the woods, and then it ends with her crying after uh, the kangaroo pops away, and uh, and then it just goes to credits. So yeah, it's a pretty sad ending. Although, well, um, I guess there's uh, I guess the one uplifting thing is that there's more movies to come. Although I hear there's some emotional stuff in the sequels as well, but. Uh, but yeah, I won't lie, I kind of look forward to, uh, you know, what the sequels have to offer. I'm, yeah, I'm kind of invested in this little uh, world they made. I'm, in, I'm invested in Dot's character. Um, you know, she's uh, just this poor little girl who gets lost, and, uh, and yeah, kind of, you do kind of get a little bit of character development, like, um... Like when she has to take care of the kangaroo after she gets injured, and she kind of nurses her back to health. So yeah, that was that was a nice little moment. Um, let's see. Uh, but yeah, it, it it's um it gets kind of silly at times, mainly with like the other animals, you know, being all cartoony and cutesy and stuff. But um. Aside from that, this was a charming little movie. It was cute. It was some, um, you know, emotional. Um, and, um, yeah, I, I won't lie. I kind of look forward to seeing the other Dot movies. Um, so I'm trying to think if there is anything else I feel I need to add, because, I don't know. I, I mean, um... Well, it is interesting that um, I did find out, um, at, like, right before I watched it, that, uh, what's his name, Saber Spark um, reviewed the movie just a few days ago. 
Um, so yeah, that's a bit of a coincidental timing right there. Um, I didn't even know about it before because, um, yeah, I'm not subscribed to that other channel. But, okay, anyway, um, but yeah, I, I guess it, it, I guess uh, he does also bring up in the video about the uh, current Australian bushfires, and yeah, I'll, I'll acknowledge, uh, you know, the severity of the situation as well, and you know, I hope everything goes well over there, I hope, or I hope things turn out okay. So yeah, uh, thoughts and prayers to Australia. Um... So, yeah, I guess I can't think of anything else to say right now, but, um, yeah, as usual, if there's anything else I feel I need to add, I'll put it in the comments, and, um, yeah, um, so I'll go ahead and give this movie a 7 out of 10, um, and, yeah, if you're looking for something, uh, you know, something charming for the kids, or just something kind of heartfelt, um, and if you care about wildlife, or you're, uh, fascinated by Australia or anything, um, yeah, I definitely say this movie is worth checking out, and, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just, uh, leave it at that for now, mash it and smash it, signing off.